All right, it's called the Ninja Foodie. This is the six-in-one indoor grill. It comes with the temperature probe, which is fantastic. That is normally what we call an upsell, but you're getting that today, so you will know the uh, the exact doneness of all your roasts. So if you're doing a pork roast, you're doing a beef roast in there, uh, anything that you need to be able to know what the temperature is, chicken inside there, you'll have it cooked perfectly every time. You can do so many things on this. You can grill, you can bake, you can roast, uh, you can air fry. It is an incredible air fryer. We're even giving you a couple of different air fryer baskets to go in with it. Um, our price today is $199. It's $100 off the HSN price. It's the best price I have seen anywhere. I went online, tried to check it out. It is a great, great price. We are doing free shipping and handling, so we'll deliver it right to your front door. The real reason you want this is for is really versatility and convenience, right? I mean, we've all got big ovens, and maybe your oven is a convection oven, and it air fries, but it's this freaking big. So, and most of the food that you cook is not that big, right? When you're cooking a tray of fries, or if you're cooking burgers or whatever it is indoors or outdoors you know using these big honking grills or ovens you don't need that most families just need a, a compact oven that will save them an energy cost that is really convenient without any charcoal without having to go outside on a rainy day or a snowy day because I know people that like to cook and grill all year long this is your guy right here the item number is 740585 it is a customer pick on hsn.com and you're going to get yummy delicious grill flavor all year long we're going to go into all the different features Features. But before we do that, I want to show you everything that you're going to get because we really have included a lot in this package. Um, so in addition to the uh, the Ninja Foodie, which is gorgeous, and I'll go over the colors in a minute, you're going to get a whole variety of different things. First of all, you get a little mini cookbook, give you lots of great ideas. You're also going to get two air fry baskets, okay? You get a larger one and you get a smaller one, which is brilliant. Why? Because, hey, sometimes you just need fries for two. Sometimes you need tater tots for the whole family. Sometimes you only need a dozen wings. Sometimes you want two dozen wings, so you're gonna get two air fry baskets. You get a roasting tray, which is inside, okay? And it's a nonstick roasting tray, so this is what you would do, um, you know, like your, your pork roast or your beef roast, or if you wanna throw a chicken in here, that's what you'll put in there, and that rests very comfortably inside. And then if you wanna air fry, you just drop a basket in, whether you drop the larger basket or the smaller basket. It also comes with a little cleaning tool, so you can clean out whatever the, you know, in, in and around the uh, air fry basket. If you get little crumbs in there, you get a cleaning tool. This is your grill plate, and this is probably your, what you're gonna use more, more than anything else. It's a grill plate so you can do steaks, you can do burgers, you can grill salmon, you can do any grilled vegetables, you can do all that, and you'll notice the way it's designed in that pattern. It helps to circulate that air. When you use convection and air to cook, it expedites the, cleaning, uh, the cooking process, and it allows for a more even cooking because you're moving hot air around in a, in a circular fashion. So when you have those burners on the top and on the bottom, you've got basically a wind current that goes around and it sears everything all the way around 360 degrees. That is a really big deal when it comes to not only uh, regular grilling and cooking, but air frying as well, because you want the heat to evenly distribute, whether it's French fries or tater tots or steaks or whatever it is that you're cooking inside. And that even has two little handles. I don't know if you can see them and they're brilliant. So what I will do is I drop this in like this and then I can pull it out very, very easily when I want to clean it and it's very, very easy to clean. This is your temperature probe. Uh, this actually uh, stores right on the side of the unit. You plug it into the side, all right? And then you feed it through and you plug it into whatever meat you wanna cook. And I'm telling you, when you're cooking things like roast beef and chicken, you don't wanna gamble on uh, the, ins uh, the internal doneness of your food. Otherwise, you gotta keep putting it on and off so you'll know the exact temperature and that temperature will read out right on the screen so you'll know you're right where you need to be. Let me go through colors, all right? Uh, stainless steel, first of all, has been the most popular, but I do have a lot of different colors that you could choose from. The first one I want to show you is gorgeous. This is the one that I would buy. It is called cinnamon. I'll close it so you get a little bit better look at that color. This is the cinnamon color. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the shape of this too. Perfect countertop. Doesn't take up a ton of room, yet you still have 50% more capacity than the original Ninja Foodie. So you can cook twice the amount of food. Uh, they've actually ex uh, expanded the inter uh, interior of it so you can cook more food inside. 50% more. That is cinnamon. The one next to it, uh, that color is called black, all right? Uh, the one in front here is called eggplant. This is another beautiful color, sort of that deep rich purple. Uh, the one behind it, this is the navy, uh, navy blue. Uh, up here in the front, 
This is uh, this is black, right? Did I get that right? No, this is this is stainless. I can't see the front. This one is stainless. They all have pretty much the black body. This is stainless, most popular. And then finally in the back we have our copper. So pick one that you love. Forty dollars on your credit card. And by the way, if you get a brand new HSN credit card, I think I think we're still doing that today, right, Pat? $40 off your first purchase. You can get this home for $159. We are cooking all kinds of delicious food. Melissa has hooked us up with some wonderful tacos. We've got a beautiful sort of an apple tart over here. We, we're gonna do burgers. We did roast pork. We did all that wonderful stuff. You will love this machine. And last thing I'll say, you're using about a, maybe a third to a quarter of the energy that you would use to either, you know, uh, torque up your outdoor grill or heat up your oven. So you're saving money in the long run. It'll pay for itself over to probably in the first year. 740-585. Let me introduce you to our special guest. Her name is Rochelle Lucas, and she is joining us live on, Sky on Skype. Hello, Rochelle. What an incredible, awesome, perfect time for summer. Today's special. It is, it is. Good morning, Guy. I'm so happy to be grilling with you this morning. And this is perfect for summer. So think 4th of July, think Father's Day coming up. You can do six steaks in the new, uh, in the Foodie XL Grill. You can do 24 hot dogs. But what I love is it takes the guesswork out of grilling. So we have the Smart Probe, which I'm gonna show you how it works in just a minute. Um, so you don't have to guess whether your chicken is done, whether your pork is done. You know it's gonna get that perfect doneness every time. You're gonna get these wonderful char grilled flavors because that grill hot plate gets up to 500 degrees. So you're gonna get those nice grill marks. Plus you can grill indoors, it's virtually smoke free. So no matter what the weather's like outside, if it's too hot, if it's raining, if it's full of mosquitoes, the mosquitoes love me, so I don't like to grill outdoors. Um, so really, it's the best of grilling and the best of air frying all in one unit. So you're going to be able to cook faster, quicker, healthier all year long. So let me kind of walk you through, through the front panel, and we'll make some steaks. So you've got your six different functions here from air fry, roast, grill, bake, broil, and dehydrate. I have the smart probe plugged in here on the side, and so you can see there's a preset and a manual here. So I'm going to select preset. So you could go manual if you wanted to, um, but I'm going to use the preset function because I love it. And then you can see how it's switches so you can scroll up and down between beef between chicken pork fish so I'm going to go back to beef because that's what I'm going to be cooking here some steaks this morning and then you can select the level of doneness so there's nine level of donenesses so th there's two for rare you can go up to medium rare you can go up to medium and so what this is going to do is it's going to make sure it's the exact temperature it needs to be and it's going to read it through the probe there's actually two sensors on the probe here so it's going to take the temperature in two different places um, so I'm just going to hit start to get this preheated you can see it's got the little lines up here. It's still hot from cooking the chicken. So those little lines are going to kind of beep through. And then once it's ready, once it's preheated, it's gonna say add food. So it takes all the guesswork out. You don't have to worry about the charcoal or the propane or kind of checking the temperature of the grill. I know it takes a lot of time, usually to get a traditional grill hot outside. This is gonna heat up, you know, in just minutes. Um, and it's funny because a guy, I was going for a walk around the neighborhood with my husband and two of our neighbors had their old outdoor grills out to the curb because they were dirty, they were rusted. Um, you know, I, this is just, it makes grilling fun. It makes yeah. it easy and the cleanup is easy too. I, I absolutely love it. We actually have burgers going on right now and I'm getting ready to add cheese. One of the wonderful things I love about this is you can grill and you can melt at the same time. So whether you're doing nachos or you're putting cheese on your burgers or you're reheating a couple of slices of pizza, it's fantastic. I've got mine on and you'll notice when I open it up, it'll automatically turn off. So I'm gonna raise the lid and I've got sizzling burgers. In fact, I'm gonna take one of the burgers out and I'm gonna let it just sit rest here for a sec and then I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my other burgers and I could put probably nine different burgers on here I'm gonna add my cheese right on top and I don't care if it messes all over the place because I can easily clean this I'm gonna put some cheese on top and then I want to show you I'm spread them out a little bit out uh, and I'm gonna put that there I'm gonna put that one there I'm gonna put the lid back on and I'm gonna come over to the burger and we've only had these on for a few minutes, um, probably a little bit longer than I would have liked. I like my burgers really, really rare. <laughs> but uh, I want to cut through and just show you the doneness right here. And these are absolutely beautiful. All right, you've got gorgeous, gorgeous burgers. I'll turn them to the side. You have nice, nice, juicy burgers right there, and you can see how beautiful they look. Yeah, I like mine a little more rare, but that's okay. It's TV, but you see how nice, look at, look at how nice and juicy these burgers are. They are perfect, and literally within about a minute, the cheese is gonna be melted. It goes very, very quickly. Remember, we're using expedited cooking. When we use 
uh, air, whether we're air frying or whether we are using it to air roast or air bake, we are, we are shrinking the amount of time it's gonna take things to cook because we're cooking more efficiently. You know, most people have an oven that does have uh, like an air fry uh, button or basically a convection. Problem is, is you're, again, you're using a big giant oven to maybe cook something that's only that big. You know, if you look at most pizza ovens across the country, are they big or are they small? No, they're small right? Because pizza has to cook faster because you can't wait 45 minutes for a pizza unless you go to Chicago and you have to put your order in ahead of time. So this is a really great way to get everything done. I'm going to already look because I know it doesn't take, look at it, done. How long was that? Was that like 45 seconds? <laughs> look if some of the cheese melted off the side. But I want you to see how perfectly these burgers are done. I'm just going to mount them over here and I'll put them right on. This one, this one, uh, this one I think the uh, person that ordered that ordered for half, he said half cheese. So you're getting half cheese there. <laughs> and we got one here. But I, I wanted everybody to see, Rochelle, just how easy this is to do. And normally, if you had to cook burgers outside, you're talking about probably an hour process, right? Either you got to get the charcoal exactly. going or whatever. Here, here's, here's the little half burger right there. That's for the person that didn't want cheese. But you're, you're talking about all that time. I could, these burgers were done, for, I mean, you could go frozen to cooked in like, 50, in like 20 to 25 minutes. And I'm talking frozen steak you could put in there. And then all I need to do, if I want to do, I could put more burgers on here. But literally, you can, you can see with my towel, this is nonstick. I can wipe all this out. I can bring it right over to the sink, right, and clean it right off. Or I can reload it with food. It is perfect. And look at those delicious burgers. And we did that, literally, that's, that's burgers for six people. Total cooking time and prep time is, is about a half an hour. Your grill probably wouldn't even be hot enough. You're, you, and then you gotta sit there and babysit your grill outside and if it's a rainy day, you don't wanna do that. Also an air fryer. So if you wanna air fry, in fact, I've, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna close the lid on my fries. I've got them about three quarters done and I'll check on those again in a sec. But the air fryer, I mean, more, most people are just buying an air fryer. And really the, re the results you get in an air fryer when you're roasting or grilling are not the same. You don't usually get the grill marks like you do with this. So this is a great combination of an indoor-outdoor grill, right? I mean, if you want to bring it outside, you can, but an indoor grill that is also going to be your air fryer for your French fries. For, I mean, we did tacos over here, right? These are all the things that it'll do. Air fry, roast, bake, broil. If you want to dehydrate, you know, cut some apples for the kids up, uh, you know, strawberries, whatever, you can do that. You can grill on low, you can grill on medium, you can grill on high, and then you can go max grill when you're trying to save time. You can do that as well. It's a phenomenal way to cook. It also is a smart cooker. With that probe, you'll be able to know exactly how your food comes out before you have to cut into it. So whether you like your food rare, medium, rare, medium, medium, well, or well, if you're well done, I don't want to talk to you, but that's okay. Some people don't like their steaks to be bloody. But, you know, I, when I worked in the restaurant business, you know, people would be like, give me a filet mignon, well done. I'd be like, okay, here's my, here, here's my shoe. Just eat my shoe with some A1 sauce so you won't know the difference. But anyway, <laughs> it's a great way to be able to be able to do stuff real quick, Rochelle. I, wanna, I just want to show my fries because, you know, a lot of people are, are like, well, it's a grill. It's an air fryer. And I put in, the, or Melissa put in the larger basket. So there's my French fries. It comes with this basket. I just give them a little shake and I'm gonna put them out. Oh, nice. I, I almost got all of them in there. First of all, look at the basket. Completely clean, right? Nothing sticks inside because it's non-stick. And then if you look at the crisp on these fries and notice that, sorry about the spilling, notice that they're not greasy. I'm gonna hold them in my hand like this and then look at my hand. All right, they are not a greasy mess. That's what you get when you deep fry. And even when you fry in the oven, you know, they tell you when you fry in the oven to do it in one layer. Did you notice we had that stacked all the way to the top because the air is cycling through the fries. There's not one fry here that's cooked different than its neighbor. They are all evenly cooked. That's what, and you can see from there, and every one is nice and crisp. If this was soggy, you know what it would do. Each one snaps. That's what you want when it comes to crispy fries or tater tots or chicken wings or anything else that you're going to put in there. You are going to love this. I'm going to hand it back to Rochelle because I know she has lots to show. But remember, today and today only, $100 off. $40 on your credit card. If you get a new HSN credit card, the price will be $159.99. Get it on. Back to you, Rochelle. Guy, I love your french fries. They look so good. And, you know, air frying is great. It's so popular because it's 75% less fat. So you're able to get that crispiness without all the oil. But earlier you were mentioning pizza. We actually grilled a pizza. I would love to show you. So first of all, look at how wonderfully this fits on my countertop. It opens right up underneath my cabinets. 
but look at the vegetable pizza. We just did it like a summer vegetable pizza with some squash and some uh, Parmesan and then also some pesto. So you can even grill pizza. You don't have to just do meats. Um, you can also air fry. So I'm going to actually show you the, uh, the functions again, but look at this beautiful pizza. We've got a wonderful grilled crust. It's nice and crispy. So really there's so much versatility. There's so much that you can do. Um, it is a true six in one. You can roast your big meats. You can do your air fried French fries. You can do your steaks, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. But let me show you the front panel again. I'm gonna close this. Oh, wait, before, let me take out the grill. So I wanted to show you, this is still hot, so I'm gonna hold it with these towels, but look at how easy this is to clean. It is ceramic coated, it's non-stick. So it's super easy to clean. This is why I love grilling on my Ninja Foodie Grill is because I don't like to mess with the charcoal or the propane or cleaning those outdoor grills because they get so dirty and you have to scrape them for so long. It takes so long to prep. By the time you know that you're uh, ready to eat, it's always been an hour. This is easy to prep. This is easy to clean. So I've removed the grill grate. I'm just going to shut the lid here. I want to show you the front panel again because I'm going to preheat it to do some s'mores for dessert. Yum. So you've got air crisp, roast, grill, bake, broil, and dehydrate. I'm actually going to air fry this more. So I'm going to select air crisp, but they're just little hand pies. So I'm going to lower the temperature to 325. So you do have all the control with the temperature of the time. If you have your own recipes, I'm going to reduce the time just to six minutes. And then once I hit start, you'll see that preheat function again. And then once it's preheated, it will say add food. So I'll know it's the exact time that I need to add the food. And so these are the little hand pies. These are s'mores. I'm just gonna put them in here into my little uh, air fry basket. So you are getting the large and the small air fry basket. That small air fry basket is great if you wanna do like steak and fries and you wanna do some fries in the back because it will fit right on top of the grill grate. So you can grill and air fry at the same time and do like your steak fritz and do like restaurant style quality uh, steak and fries. So really it's so versatile. There's so much that you can do with it. And that smart probe is going to make sure that everything is cooked at the right temperature yeah. and that right level of doneness. Hey, I want to mention really quickly, and I would I encourage you to buy this. It's called the Ninji, uh, Ninji, the Ninja Foodie. It's a cookbook for beginners. There are 75 air fry recipes in here, and I'm telling you, I'm trying to get to a picture here. They are phenomenal. So whether you like, I mean, whether you like desserts, whether you like to uh, roast, bake, air fry, lots of lots. There you go. Lots and lots of ideas for you to be able to grab this and this is only 20 bucks I would grab this in a second so I got a burger here we've not been allowed to eat through the pandemic but now suddenly we are so yeah you know me I'm going in I like what do you like on your burger I, I actually am a big fan of mustard and ketchup mm -hmm. I actually usually put a little mayonnaise on there too um, I guess it's from the time being a kid you know that the McDonald's burger always has mustard and ketchup on it so I'm gonna go a little bit of this and a little bit of this because I'm gonna taste what we made and look at how beautiful that burger is I mean, we haven't killed it. It's perfectly roasted. I'll cut it in half, make it a little bit easier for me to get through. And you'll see, I mean, it is just, that is just a beautiful, beautiful hamburger. We'll give it a shot. We haven't eaten in a long time. All right. All right. Ridiculous. Absolutely. You know what's funny, Rochelle? I would never, <laughs> let me eat this first. I would never know this was cooked indoors, ever. It's got yeah. grilled taste, it's got grilled flavor, it's juicy. You would never know. And then listen, I'm not telling you you're not gonna cook outdoors, all right? We all love to barbecue outside, no worries. Problem is, you're gonna be cook using this for not just grilling, you're gonna use this for everything. Kids want their chicken tenders, you're gonna throw them in there. You want buffalo wings, you're gonna throw them in there. You got leftovers that you wanna reheat, you're gonna throw them in there. You wanna dehydrate, you want wings, you want a cheesesteak, you want salmon, you want chicken, you want dessert. You're gonna use this oven all the time. This is your day-to-day -day countertop oven. It's gonna make life so much easier. That burger was so ridiculous. It's, it's everything I could do not to suck this thing down right now. Get it <laughs> home, you're gonna absolutely love it. Over here, you wanna do a one-pot meal. Look at this, and we didn't even put veggies. If we wanted to, we could've put asparagus, I could've put zucchini in here. We did a whole big piece of salmon inside to show you the capacity. And we didn't even put a big jumbo piece in there. We could have easily put two in there. You could do pork chops. If you like shake and bake and all that stuff, you could do that in there. And remember when you're air frying over here, you're not using any oil. Uh, most food has resi residual fat like salmon. No reason to cook salmon in a fry pan. It's loaded with oil, good oil, healthy oil. So you just put it in a regular uh, air fry basket or put it right on the cooker itself and let it do its business. The air fry is a big deal. You get two air fry baskets, a small one and a large one. I want you to look at the tacos that Melissa made earlier. Everything we did in, uh, for, for these tacos we did inside here. We, we uh, grilled the shrimp. 
Okay, we roasted uh, the tomatoes before for the salsa. We actually heated it and melted the cheese inside here. And we made beautiful tacos and we never had to heat up the oven. I mean, it's unbelievable. The, the convenience and versatility of this is great. I wanna go through colors one more time. Whoop. So the one right here is called copper. The one in front is stainless. That is the most popular. This one is called eggplant. Okay, that's the purpley one in the front. Uh, this is black. All right, we also have it available in, make sure I got all, oh no, this is navy, sorry. <laughs> and this one is black here. I'm behind them so I can't see them. And then finally, the color that I, I would pick, I love this, this is called the, I'll turn it down so you can see. This is the cinnamon. Love that rich red color. Everybody that orders is gonna get two air fry baskets, all right? So, how those work. If you got a lot of wings, you put them in the large basket and you simply drop that right inside close the lid, hit the button. All you need to do for your wings. If you want to do a smaller basket, maybe you want two, uh, you know, two or three twice baked potatoes, you want to throw those in there, good to go, close the lid, hit the button. It's all you need to do. Uh, remember, you can remove this and you can add in your grill tray, that drops right in just like that, and now you can grill. It's never been easier to interchange any of the things that go in it. I absolutely, in fact, I'm just gonna leave that grill plate in there. It is a wonderful way to cook. If you find that you have a hard time judging the time of your cooking, we're including that probe. The probe is, is and, and let me just tell you, every professional chef out there, when they're cooking a roast, they use a probe. Wolfgang uses a probe, Curtis uses a probe. They all use probes because they can't afford to throw away food and they can't serve to their customers overdone things or underdone things, right? So it's a great way to be, uh, to be able to get all that done. Convenient countertop, doesn't take up a lot of space. You're gonna be able to grill, air fry. You could do it all year long. And a lot of times, Rochelle, on a hot day when it's 95 degrees with 97% with humidity, the last thing I wanna do is be outside <laughs> roasting in front of a grill. I can do it inside very exactly. quickly, very conveniently. Exactly, me too. I hate going outdoors in the summertime in Florida because it's full of mosquitoes, it's super hot. Now I can grill indoors, but when the weather's nice, I can bring the grill out to my patio too. It just plugs right in. So let me show you how the Smart Probe works. We do have the dual sensor here, so it's gonna take a temperature from two different places. And I also wanna show you on the grill how it now says add food. So it takes the guesswork out of grilling. I know that it's at the right temperature. I know that it's ready to, for me to grill. I know that grill plate is gonna be 500 degrees. So I'm just gonna insert the probe here into the steaks. I'm gonna lift the lid. Are you ready for the sizzle guy? Listen to that sizzle. So we're gonna get those char marks on there. We're gonna get that char flavor. I'm also able to just add my asparagus and my mushrooms along the side. So I'm not gonna lose that in the grill plate like I would uh, you know, outdoors with the traditional style grill. I'm gonna shut the lid and I wanna show you the front here. Um, it's just gonna start counting down. And so I know exactly when it's going to be the right temperature, the right time. This is gonna do all of the guesswork. It takes all the guesswork out of grilling. So now I can have drinks with my friends, I can entertain. I don't have to sit by the grill and babysit it. And I think that's my favorite part is it's easy to grill, easy to clean up. It doesn't matter what the weather is. Um, but we also did some chimichurri steaks. So I love your salmon. Your salmon looks great. I'm gonna go to my table here in a minute because I've got some great Mexican street corn that will go great with your tacos. But I wanted to show you the other size meats that we can do here. So we've got this huge chimichurri steak. I'm gonna oh, need my yum. knife to help me uh, lift this up. So we've got a chimichurri uh, flank steak, beautifully done. Um, you know, I love that you have the capacity to do, look at how perfectly that is. And so that uh, psychonic grilling technology with the air, that's what's getting it nice and brown around the outside, but then it stays perfectly tender in the middle. And so you can do, you know, your large roasts. You can do six steaks if you're Yum. entertaining and you wanna do some steaks uh, for your family. So there's really so much that you can do um, you know, whether you want to do it, you know, small, if you just want to do a little date night with steak fritz, you can do that. If you wanted to make a whole big roast for your family, you could do that. I'm going to take this chimichurri and I'm going to walk over to the table so you can see all the stuff that we've been doing. And I think my s'mores are going to be done in about two minutes. So I'll get those too. But we did steaks. We did some mustard rub chicken thighs and we used the probe for these. Chicken is one of those things that I'm always, you know, guessing whether it's done or not. You never know. And you're always having to like, you know, check on it and lift the lid. Oh my the gosh. probe did all of the that. work for us with that because we inserted the probe there. We did a grilled vegetable pizza. So we did this nice summer vegetable pizza. We did Mexican street corn. How would you like these to go with those tacos Yum. that you made? <laughs> Yummy. We also grilled fruit. So you could grill your pineapple and your yeah. pears and your watermelon for, for 4th of July and have something really fun and healthy and exciting that looks um, awesome. to feed your family. Yep. We also did some kebabs. 
You can also dehydrate. So, you know, if you want to dehydrate your vegetables to create some, you know, healthy snacks, you can do that as well. So it's a true six in one, you know, from broil to roast to grill to air fry. Yeah. It takes the best of both worlds with having the air fry and the grill all in one. Yeah. So you're gonna have that quicker cook time. And, and you can cook for two people or you can cook for 10 people. I mean, that's really, and so let's let's say I got, I got home late from work, right? You know, let's say, you know, my girlfriend's like, what are we gonna have for dinner? What are we gonna have? I wanna show you how easy. Now, normally, for two people, would you light up the outside grill? Maybe not, right? Maybe, or, or get charcoal going? Probably not. Watch what I'm gonna do right here, okay? I got a couple of filet mignons, so let's say I'm cooking for me and my, my date or whoever it is. I'm gonna salt, remember, always salt it up before you go. Salt and pepper, especially on steak. And uh, you can be generous, because a lot of it's gonna work its way down into the grill. So I'm gonna put salt on one side and pepper on one side. Oh, we salt both sides. I'm gonna put some there. I'm gonna salt my asparagus, and I'm even gonna salt my lemons and pepper, because I'm gonna use those on top. I have preheated, all I did was I put it on grill and I hit the on button. Grill already knows, it's a, remember, it's a smart cooker. You don't have to worry about messing around with anything. So I've got mine preheated. I'm gonna take my steaks and I'll put one here. I'm gonna put one over here, like that, okay? I'm gonna take my asparagus. I'm gonna put the asparagus right here. So now I've got my veg. I'm gonna take my lemons and I'm gonna put those over there. All I need to do is close it. I have just made dinner, all right? That is how, I mean, I just made dinner. And it's not just some crappy dinner, it's filet mignon and asparagus that's like, you know, 50 bucks in a restaurant. So I just did that. And look at me, I'm not sweating, I'm not outside turning on the gas, I'm not outside dumping charcoal in, I am making a steak dinner for me and my friend, and we are gonna love it. And remember, if I wanted to, I could put the probes in there. You know, I don't really need to do it so much for myself, because I, I know, but if you're one of those people that has issues about, you know, is it done or not, use the little temperature probe. It plugs right in the side, you put it right in the meat, and it'll read out exactly what the temperature is. So if you like it rare, medium rare, if you like it well done, if you like it well done, you probably don't have to put the probe in. Just cook it till it looks dead, <laughs> all right? But if you do like your meat rare or medium rare like me, you're gonna wanna know that. And I, you know, I've worked in the restaurant business for 20 years, so I know, you know, because I've, I've got methods to chuck that out, but most people don't. So I've got my fillets cooking, my asparagus cooking, I got my lemons grilling. I got everything for a wonderful dinner. If I wanted to add a starch, don't forget the fries that I made earlier. Air fryer, grill, uh, you, you can uh, bake inside here, you can roast inside here, you can dehydrate inside. You can do everything you can do and more than you could do in your big oven with about 25 to 30% uh, of, of the energy cost. So even if you just care about saving money, you should buy this. Here's a few things that it can do. It can air fry crispy crispy, right? So you don't have to put fat on it. Remember when you buy stuff in bags, 99% of it's pre-cooked. All you gotta do is throw it in. It's already been cooked in a fryer. You just wanna get the crisp back. Perfect for that. Roast, bake, broil, dehydrate. If you're a big fan of dehydrating uh, uh, fruits and veggies, ideal. If you wanna slow cook, you can do that. Like, you know, people aren't up yet. You wanna get the sausages and the bacon cooking? Go ahead, we give you every pan to do that. You wanna grill medium. You wanna grill high. Like when you do things like poultry, you don't wanna blast the outside unless you could do it in the beginning, I guess, to get the grill marks, but then you want to turn it down low because you want that internal temperature to get up where it needs to be to be safe. But when you're doing meats, roasts, you know, like, like uh, beef roast, things like that, you want the in interior to be pink. We're giving you the probe to be able to do that, but you want to sear those on high temperature. Never been easier, Rochelle. Everything is on the little TV screen right in front of you. you it's hard it to is. make a mistake when you have the Ninja Foodie. It really is, Rochelle. It is. Guy, I'd love to show you the probe in action. And so our steaks are grilling and the temperature is up. And so you can definitely see that it's doing all of the, it's taking the guesswork out of it for you. So you don't have to babysit it. You can spend time with your family and friends. You don't have to sit by the grill and get smoked out, you know, by the uh, charcoal and things. So it actually says get food. I was going to show you it had two separate temperatures, but it's done. So it says get food. So I'm going to open this up. You can hear that sizzle. You can see the uh, grill marks. It's now saying rest on the front. because You always like to have your steaks rest a little bit before cutting into them. So that way it retains that juiciness. But look at how perfect these are done. We need a fork here because these are some giant steaks. I love it. Um, so you can do your dinners for two. You can do six steaks in here if you want for, um, you know, if you're doing 4th of July or Father's Day or, you know, any kind of entertaining. But you can also do up to 24 hot dogs. So think of, uh, you know, the summertime grilling. I'm going to use my towel here and pull this, um, you know, pull the probe out. It's still a little hot. But I love that you can get these char marks. I love that you can get this 
same kind of char grill that you would with an outdoor grill, except you're doing it indoors, virtually smokingless. I'm gonna need a fork again too. These are some giant steaks, I love it. Restaurant quality style. I've got my asparagus and my mushrooms that we cooked just on the side. So look at how wonderful those are done. I'm just gonna cut into it here so we can see the inside. Look at how perfect that is. Wow. So it's wonderful on the outside, perfectly, uh, you know, just rare. We've got it nice and seared on the outside pink in the middle, just like I like it, but you can adjust the level of doneness. So if I had somebody in my family that wanted it a little bit more well done, you know, I can pop one of the steaks back in here and put the probe in the steak and then just watch it come to temperature for that. So you can adjust the different level of doneness depending on who, you know, wants their steak medium or who wants it more rare. It definitely has that kind of uh, control that you, that you want. But then you can also do your dessert. So my, my s'mores are done. I'm gonna show you these too. So we air fried these. This is just marshmallow and uh, chocolate inside little hand pies. And so look at how these turned out. Perfectly crispy. We air fried them. So instead of you know deep frying at 75% less fat, but we're still doing our nice little summer uh, s'mores. These are still hot, but I want to show you. Ooh, look at the middle in there. What? We've got our cho melted Yum. chocolate. We've got some uh, marshmallow. So I'm going to bring those to the table so you can see all of the different things that we've done today. So we did our steaks. I'm gonna cook this one a little bit more. This one's, you know, medium rare, so you can cook them to different levels of doneness with that smart probe. We also did a chimichurri steak. We did some barbecue chicken. We also use the smart probe for that. So really, there's so much that you can do. There's so much versatility. Um, we even grilled fruit. So I don't know if you've ever grilled fruit before. It's yeah. so delicious. It brings out all the nice car caramelization of the sugars. Um, so think about summer grilling, you know, with your family and friends this summer. I know we've had a, a year of, of not being able to entertain. I'm looking forward to entertaining now <laughs> yeah. and having people over and having the grill do all the work for me. Well, and to me, if it's hard to do, like anything in life, you're gonna look for reasons not to do it, right? Mm -hmm. If it's hard to get your barbecue going, if it's hard to go outside because it's hot, if it's hard to get charcoal, maybe you're out of gas, you know, it happens all the time with your propane tank and you're just like, you know what, let's eat out. And what happens then is that's how people, literally, literally that's how people put on weight because they, they rely on other people to cook their food because they look for reasons not to. This is an easy way to be able to cook. It's convenient, it's versatile, whether you air fry, whether you grill, whether you bake. You have a machine that's gonna do everything, all right? It does it all. You saw about, what, four or five minutes ago I put the steaks in. I'll give you an update. And remember, to, and to, this, is a, this is an excuse for Rochelle. Rochelle, remember, when you, when you cook something and it's a little less than you'd like, you can always put it back on. The, the key is you exactly. don't want to leave it on too long because you can't take it away once it's done. <laughs> so I'll open it up and you'll see. My steaks are starting to sear. Uh, the veggies are getting roasty. Look at that. You can see that little bit of the grill mark on the side. I've only had these on for a bit, but you'll see I'm already getting my grill marks. So at this point, I'll turn them a little bit and get my cross hatch on there. I'll do the same with this one. Turn it to the side. And I can tell by touching, these are raw inside. You can see how soft they are. But the other side is getting there. See how perfect that is? So I'm going to put that back down. I'm going to get this other veggie there. My lemons can come off because they're done. And look at how beautifully roasted. And you'll be amazed at what roasted fruit tastes like. I want to put that back down and finish those up. And so I can lay those lemons right on the asparagus, put the filet on the side, slice a few slices, add a little more salt and pepper. And you know what? If you're on a date or you're with your significant other, you will, they will be so impressed. The problem that people have when they barbecue grill is barbecue grilling is an art form. There's a dozen shows on TV that show you how hard barbecue grilling is. You gotta be really good at it because you're talking about high heat cooking, you're talking about flame, very easy to overcook your food, very easy to burn your food. What's nice about this machine is it's really hard to do that. It's really hard to ruin a meal inside here. First of all, you have all the digital uh, one-touch controls, which make it easy. You got the probe, so you're never gonna overcook or undercook anything. You got the ease of plugging it in and hitting a button. I mean, no charcoal, no, no, no babysitting, no maintenance with this. Wipe it out and re-go. All right, if you look at some of the food that we made, and I'll go through it, uh, or Melissa made, we have a roast pork here. We even did the, uh, the uh, Brussels sprouts on the grill, and we even caramelized uh, some of our fruit I think those are pears. We did some pears. We did live burgers right here. They look better when they first came out, but you saw them when they first came out. We did a dessert, so if you wanna do a baked tart, you could do that. We did at least two pounds of french fries with the air fry mode on. We did tacos, and that's just one table. We could have gone on and on and on. Let me show you colors one last time, and don't forget, real quick, hey Pat, you wanna put up the book? 
Really quickly, I'd love it if you got the cookbook to go along with it, 75 recipes, and the recipes are amazing. Let me pull up just some of the things that you can do inside here. You're gonna love this. It is loaded with great pictures uh, and ideas for great grilled meals, roasted meals, air fried meals. It's called the Ninja Foodie, uh, Foodie Cookbook for Beginners. So, copper, make sure I got them all right. Stainless, navy, eggplant, did I get black? Black, right there. And then this is called cinnamon. This is the one that I love. You get all the roasting trays included, everything that you need to cook a delicious, healthy meals very, very quickly and conveniently, whether it's burgers, hot dogs, steaks, chicken, fish, veggies, fruits, dehydrating, all, uh, all of the above. You can do all you can do, make your own beef jerky in here. You will absolutely love it. Rochelle, you are just doing such a wonderful job today. Thank you so much. I appreciate all your Thank efforts. Thank you. Thank you. We've had fun grilling with you today. Um, my next steak is ready. It says get food, but we've Yummy. done so much. Um, we've grilled our steaks. We've got our chicken. We did barbecue chicken. I love using the Smart Pro because it takes the guesswork oh. out of grilling. It's going to get that perfect temperature every time. We did some chimichurri flank steak. We even air fried our s'mores. So we've got some little s'mores ham fries. Look at my we did a grilled pizza. Um, so we've got the, you know, our nice grilled uh, vegetable pizza, but your steaks look, look at delicious. It. Look at that. Oh, I juicy, 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 juicy steak. Perfect every time. And, and by the way, <laughs> these are almost done. These are all, these are like medium rare right now. They're almost done. I'm going to let them finish cooking. Thanks again, Rochelle. We appreciate you. Thank you. It's been fun grilling with you this morning, oh, guys. So much fun. I love it. It makes me, I'm so hungry. I can't believe it. I, I, I could eat everything on this plate. Item number 740585. It is a customer pick if you want to pick it up. Hey, I got something really great coming up at the end of the show. I already promoted what's coming up next, which is